right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and on YouTube for our next deck. We got Rakdos Burn. This was one of the first decks that I actually had on Arena a um, long time ago, whenever I was uh, just starting. Uh, after I built, you know, Selesnya Tokens and Selesnya Angels, this was like one of the next ones after that. Dr. Random, thank you so much for subbing with Twitch Prime. That's our seventh sub of the day. Um, and this Rakdos Burn deck has certainly gotten good upgrades here in um, in Ravnica Legion, so I want to try it out again. So we're gonna. This is gonna be like my first time actually playing a light up the stage, so that'll be pretty fun. So we're gonna play. You know, we'll have four light up the stage to go with our four sword point diplomacy and risk factors as our card advantage engines to get more and more burn spells. Um, I'm trying to 3-3 split with these Skewer the Critics and Wizard's Lightnings because um, there are certainly times when they just cost 3 mana and that's not what we want. You know, we, we really want them to cost 1. I'm not sure which one will reliably cost 1 more, whether it's Skewer or Wizard's Lightning, really. You know, we only have the 8 Wizards. Um, not exactly sure, so I'm just kind of going with the 3-3 split on them. Uh, I could see it being like 4 Skewer, 2 Lightning. Or I could also even see it the other way. Um, so, we'll see. Um, sideboard, we have a bunch of new things. Uh, basically, we have three new cards I want to try out. Before I have Experimental Frenzy and Theater of Horrors um, works... Well, basically, Experimental Frenzy did not work very well with Sword Point Diplomacy or Risk Factor, how those draw you cards. Um, and, you know, then you have a bunch of cards in your hand you can't play because of Frenzy. So I think Theater of Horrors may work out a little better for us in that scenario and uh you know we'd struggle against like the big um the big creatures and i think that uh or like yeah like some big creatures or angels things like that i think i want to try out pestilence spirit as our way to kind of deal with those um you know i think you know maybe the cyborg plan doesn't work but i think like pestilence spirit uh you know can be on the battlefield and then let all of our burn spells be able to take out like lyra dawnbringer and things like that i think that's a pretty interesting uh, to kind of go whenever we have Pestilence Spirit, Carnival works really well with Pestilence Spirit as a one-mana uh, burn spell. Um, works really well there. Um, so, like, they kind of, they'll probably come in together. Um, but then we also have Carnage, which is good against control decks as, you know, a burn spell that makes them discard a couple cards. Or also against, like, the Angel decks. Um, usually the Angels are, like, their last cards at hand, and so maybe Carnage can make them discard them. Also, if we don't have the Spirit, the Carnage part can help, maybe help us out there. No, I'm actually I'm honestly not that big a fan of Electrostatic Field. Uh, you know, before you know this deck would play Electrostatic Field, and honestly didn't love it that much. And and I think that uh, being able to move away from it is something I'm excited about. So here we go, Rakdos Burn. Yeah, it does block a lot, deal a lot of damage, hard to remove. It's also just, I don't know, it's pretty slow. And I like it. We'll see. Alright, we got a... Speaking of slow. Got a slow hand here. But Sword Point and Risk Factor are like the two best cards in the deck. So I'm going to keep it with Sword Point and Risk Factor. Usually game one... Um, It's okay to be a little grindier. All right, Sovereign's Bite. So I'm going to start with Sword Point Diplomacy um, because. My opponents, you know, less likely to, or maybe they're more likely to pay life for things. Huh. No, they're just they're saying, here you go, draw three. That sounds good to me. <laughs> yep, we're playing burn and best of three. We have a lot of risk factors.
Doesn't seem like our opponent's really doing anything, though. Ah, alright, they did something. Either we're drawing lots of cards, or our opponent's taking some damage. No, the chains thing does not appear for my opponents also. Hmm. So many burn spells. I just have too many cards. I, I played a land for my hand. I, I don't think I should have played that land for my hand already. Alright, good. We found a one-man spell. We get to play with the lightning strike here. Ooh. I could deal him some damage. Just one. <sighs> so risk factor is just going to be draw three. So many cards. Oh, right. I didn't play that land from over from the light of the stage. Whoops. I think we're going to be okay, though. I think we're going to have enough lands. I wonder if I have too much card advantage and not enough burn spells. Oh, that Sovereign's Bite would have been good. Alright, we got the first game. Assuming these lava runners hit them. Okay. Anything to do? They're gonna have like discard spells like duress. Imagine if Risk Factor would have been a field or a theater. I don't think either of those would have necessarily been better. We drew a lot of cards of those Risk Factors. Um, do I want theater against them? Nah.
All right, hopefully we can find a, a black mana source, but I like having lava, lava runner right away. Well, we have turn one goblin guide. It has, just has haste now. Discard a spell, mill over a spell. So Jim's been playing Rakdos Burn quite a bit and he cut all the diplomacies out of the deck. Interesting. We need this third land. Yeah, it's not really a rat deck. It's more of like a, I guess, a discard deck. I've seen them play a lot of discard spells. There we go. Bzz. Um. Yeah, it's a discard deck that that likes me to draw all the cards with <laughs> with my spells. Um So far they've just let me draw in off for every single card. Okay. We took a bunch of damage from those. They took three damage each for Wizards Lightning and Lightning Strike. They would also just deal three damage. All right, one and oh. Let's keep it going. I think we'll do just fine if we play against that deck um, all the time. So we're two and a half hours into the 12 hour stream for today. Don't think we can keep this one lander. Killborn King. Um. I think this could certainly be a burn mirror. The two life could be really valuable. Well, it's not. All right, so my plan is just to, to lightning strike them um, on their end step here, and then we un untap, and then I'll shock light up the stage, which gives me a little bit more time to use light up the stage, like especially 
the, you know, like land drops and, and so on. Hmm. We go shock lava runner. Like lava runner get get haste, but no, I want to I want to do light up. I want to try to find lands. All right, there's land. Hey, white jaguar. Like that. You know, it's just taking a turn basically. A turn of like not a Drake. Um So we go bite skewer. So I, I definitely need to cast the skewer, right? I could go shock, skewer, and a new light up the stage. Or I could just go bite skewer. I think I'm gonna just go bite skewer. I'm a little worried that the light up the stage hits like three mana spells. I guess this is. I guess that's slightly risky. If they spell pierce my sovereign spite. But if they would. Yeah, I guess it's slightly risky. <laughs> Demanding dragon. Dang, that ends the game pretty quickly. Alright, light up. Um, light up again or skewer? Probably skewer. Because next turn, sword point diplomacy is basically, you know, draw three because they can't pay any life. And all we need to do is find. Something from it. Yeah, two more. <laughs> no, not a bunch of counters. Uh oh. All right, Horde Quench Mountain. So you can decline, decline. Do I decline on Quench also? If I take action, I go to 10 and I'm at like a two turn clock. Um, But then, you know, they, they have the counter spell. Like, gosh, Quench is such a good one for them to find here with the two mana. Yeah, I, I guess it's good to take action. I certainly want Risk Factor to resolve next turn. It does speed up their clock a turn. Oh, right, because then they get to untap and have all these things. Right, because that's my end step. Because they cast that at instant speed. Alright, so the clock to even gets sped up a turn. They were going to have lethal anyway. Alright, we got to find a burn spell. Burn spell. Burn spell. There we go. Rack does burn. All right, so do we go transformational sideboard? <laughs> it's not really transformational, but should I try to kill the dragons with pestle, you know, with pestle and spirit carnival, or do I just not worry about the dragons and keep the same thing? I think what I would do is I would bring in these eight for probably my other creatures, or like maybe like the wizards lightnings. Um, 
Wizards Lightnings, Pyromancer, and like one sword point. For for those, I think. I think that may be better. We'll bring in these. Maybe two sword points. One Viachina Pyromancer. I can't have just all threes. Yeah, Grixis doesn't deal with enchantments, but they can they can certainly race. I don't think I want to just be sitting back with theater here, I don't think. Um, if you were to drop Sword Point Diplomacy, would you keep this Rakdos or switch to Mono Red? Probably just go to Mono Red at that point. I don't know, though. It's so much better having Blood Crypt for this deck than last season when we just had to use Cinder Barons. Hey, Daisa. You're not too late, though. We're only about... We're only a little over two and a half hours in. Nope, no electrostatic. I didn't really want to play the card. So what I'm worried about... If I Pyromancer, I guess I need to be worried about... Like, Sweeper kind of thing here. That's fine. Uh, I, I don't play best of one, so I really don't know like the best best of one deck. I'm just not sure. So I'm going to risk factor. Use up all the mana. Um, I'm, I'm doing it now. Oh, never mind. Well, that's just a bad idea to do it now. I should have waited. Why was I thinking that I was going to be turning on this Lava Runner? I guess because I was thinking I was going to strike plus light up the stage and then turn on the Lava Runner. So that was just a mistake. On my part. Alright, now we got a Lava Runner turned on. I guess I should wait with this Pestilent Spirit. Can maybe kill something. Uh, it, this is my first time playing Pestilent Spirit, so we'll kind of see. I can certainly see them having a removal spell for it. Yeah, it gives my instant sorcery spells death touch. It can kill big dragons with it. So that's cool. Gonna go ahead and cast the risk factor right now while they're while they're tapped out.
Heck yeah, death touch spells. We can have we can lightning strike another dragon. So I think I'm gonna play around Quench here and just untap. Let's kill that thing. That stuff spells are pretty nice. I guess I should have maybe cast this first before the lightning strike. So I could have had that carnival. Just kill the nickel bolus and deal one to them. But yeah, Pestle and Spirit having, having Menace is really crucial too. So we get to just attack through this dragon egg. It gives a whole new meaning to dice to shock. <laughs> That's true. Well, dang. We had some fun there. Pheasant Spir Spirit still did really good. It attacked for six and also helped us kill a Demanding Dragon and a Nicol Bolas. You know, like, we're at eight. Like, those are big creatures. And I'm just playing around Quench, like, basically forever. I think I I think I have the mana I can I can afford to. All right, so let's carnage them. Oops, sorry. Make them discard two. Nickel bolus and land. Hmm. Uh, if their last card's Quench, it's fine. They kept Quench over Nicol Bolas. I'm fine with that. I'd be kind of surprised if they kept Quench over Nicol Bolas. <laughs> they did have a Quench! <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. Alright, my opponent got me. They got me good. Don't doubt my methods. Okay. Can't handle this burn. Rakdos burn, 2 0. Oh. Pestle Spirit was sweet. Yeah, I like Pestle and Spirit a whole lot too. I'm I'm pretty excited about having these the Pestle and Spirits in the sideboard. Ugh. I could have also just cast Risk Factor during their upkeep also though. Oh, I forgot about the menace. Yeah, the menace is real strong with it. You know, we just gotta keep on attacking through that dragon egg. It's like we're playing Mono Red Burn. We are... Yeah, we're a very Pyromancer heavy deck. Cast the fire, the sword point diplomacy right now, where we know it will resolve, 
and because you know it helps us helps refill our hand. So yeah, so it it dealt three plus drew two cards, like divination plus dr deal three. That's just a really strong card. Okay, so let's go with another. Let's go with another Pyromancer. And Skewer. And we'll pay two life to have Wizards Lightning up. I'll just cast the Wizards Lightning right now. One point away from from killing them. We've got double lightning strike. They know about the two lightning strikes also. They're gonna have to have a counter spell. Hey, good thing we have extra cards to this card. Thanks, Silver Point Diplomacy. Uh, that also helps. Alright, we need to draw a burn spell. They can't attack, so that's good. We have more time. Not draw a burn spell there. Let's see if we can next turn. Second turn? Nope. Ooh, that's good for them. Alright. Risk factor, light at the stage, sword point diplomacy. Anything like that. Sovereign's Bite. Turn too late. Alright, we got we gotta hit again. We're ne dead next turn. No counter spell, no counter. No, they had a counter spell too. Ah, uh, till. All right, pestilent spirit, come on in. Let's bring those in again. Cut one diplomacy. Last turn, last time, what? I cut the pyromancers. And Withered's Lightning. No, I think it's better to cut one Diplomacy over Risk Factor, I think. I like how you can cast Risk Factor Instant Speed. Ah, uh, so close. Yeah, we, we bricked two draw steps, and then we hit two draw steps, uh, but the the life they gained from that moment of craving was critical. Um, and so they got to gain two life from the moment of craving, and then had the counter spell. Hmm. If we don't hit our third land drop, this will be tough. But I think it's still a keep. In this matchup, like we want to be able to refill our hand against the discard deck. So 
So I'm playing I'm playing 22 lands here. I'm playing one more land than I played um, last season with the deck because of added three drops. Bite then stage. Sounds reasonable to me. I like this deck though. I have so I already have like a decent amount of card advantage. I have theater horrors for like the the decks that don't really pressure me as much. Uh, but yeah, maybe I should just have theater horrors. You know, like how this deck pressures you with like the six sixes and four fours. I just wanted to, to kind of make sure that I get to kill them. Hmm. Do I want a Carnage? Carnage seems pretty good. The Carnage can kill them. They likely have a counter spell for that. Let's throw the risk factor out there first. Called it. Um, and I guess I, I play it like this, so if they have a, a discard spell. So I should have just I should just pass turn. I didn't need to play that main phase. Maybe diplomacy is better than risk factor. Yeah, Carnage was awesome. Diplomacy or risk factor? I think diplomacy out. Hmm. Maybe I don't actually need the, the Pestilence Spirit. You know, it's me also just kind of first playing this. Maybe the Pestilence Spirit should just be like the Viachina Pyromancers and, and stuff. Kind of just have those instead. Uh, we have to draw two lands. Yeah, theater is... I have it in there for the slow decks. Oh, Pestilent Spirit like won us the last match against the Dragons. It was really good. Um, you can get gold quickly by grinding standard ladder. Oh, by ladder, no. Ladder, you get nothing. Sorry. Sorry. 
I'd rather Risk Factor get countered over Sword Point Diplomacy here. Oh, Syncopate exiles it, though. That's a tilt. I was thinking Negate. You're getting exiled as a tilt. I'm doing a main phase, though, because I want Lava Runner um, to grow. Come on, land. Land? Ooh, baby. Kill that. That's so good. Death touch shock. Just slows their clock down a ridiculous amount. We had Death Touch Sword Point Diplomacy. Our opponent doesn't have the answer to the Death Touch Pestilence Spirit. There we go. So we were going to be... I was just going to carnival that on my end step and just deal one to the nickel bolus, deal one to them and kill it. So that's why I have Pestilence Spirit in, you know, cause like those six sixes, like, you know, Doom Whisper kills you really fast and, um, getting rid of Doom Whisper like that is, is pretty crucial. Yep, yeah, gotta get that next level tech. It's possible that I should just have Pestilence Spirit main deck. Um with Carnival Carnage. That's a pretty good looking hand. Breeding pool, huh? No, Sword Point is really good. We saw like that last game, Sword Point just did six. It was like six damage draw card. That last game. I don't think I really need a shotgun there. Never know if this game's gonna go longer or not. Never know. The two life could end up mattering. I should probably play Lightning Strike there, though, after they're tapped out. Canuck, uh, to answer your question of saying sorry at work, um, and only like half watching, are you finding that the draw 12 is working out well? I, I am finding that it's, draw, that it's working out well so far. We've been playing against decks that are trying to interact with our, um, our, our hand or counter spells and stuff like that, and just having all the extra spells has been working out very well for us. All right, so we have some kind of blue-green reclamation deck. We'll see if these lava runners hit them. Ooh, getting bounced.
Like, yeah, royal blood. All right, sorry. Uh, Cunicolus said, I'm a new player. What's the best way to earn cards? Worth mentioning that I'm not into the drafting system. Then, um, playing the best way to earn new cards is to play the, uh, the best of one um, tournaments that cost 500 gold to enter. You know, get, get yourself like an, an, ag an aggro deck or something or... Um, you know, like, kind of tune your deck for those. You don't have to worry about sideboarding games. Um, there's a, a lot of newer players in those events. Um, you can do well with those. Earn earn gold uh, through those. Um, and use the gold to buy packs, then. That's that's the best if you don't want to draft. Uh, that's what I'd recommend. Alright, so they gain two life. But that still leaves them dead right now. Wilderness Reclamation does untap all their mana. So we're not sure if they're going to be dead forever. Oh no, it doesn't leave them dead. No, because they get to block. Duh. Hmm. Yeah, we saw, we saw them cast one Nexus earlier. They cast a Nexus the previous turn. I mean, that... You have to be playing Nexus to play Wilderness Reclamation. Can't really play that without Nexus. Um, sacrifice a Lava Runner to deal two. Yeah. This is our first game that we have not had any of our extra draw spells. We haven't had any of the 12. Um, the light up the stages. Hmm. Kind of want to just bolt the Hydroid Crisis. I know I get to put him down to two and then like any burn spell is like lethal. But if they like start Wilderness Reclamation, or sorry, if they just start like Nexus of Fading and like attack for four, attack for four, attack for four kind of thing. I kind of actually want to bolt this thing. That could certainly be crazy. Yeah, this is our this is our first game that we hadn't drawn any of those. No risk factors, sword point diplomacies, or light of the stages. And yeah, this is our first time we have like no cards and no lands, <laughs> as you can tell. So I haven't liked it as much not having. So I, I like the 12, because um, our deck's certainly better when we have those extra extra spell cards. Yes, Hydroid Crisis is worth spending wild cards on. It is very good. All right, so they get to the gain three. They're up to seven. All right, they got me. I'm not going to get seven points before they kill me. All right, so they are not... I think this is also just another good good time for Carnival Carnage and Pestilent Spirit. Uh, you know, they don't seem to have very much removal, so Pestilent Spirit should be able to kill these Krasis, Krasises. Krasi. Um, I don't really mind Theater of Horrors here, honestly. Kind of do the same cyborg plan we were doing before. You don't think we can beat them in a long game? I don't know. Carnage is pretty good at that. You know, like... Making them discard two could certainly be pretty good. I 
What if I take out one light up the stage, actually, instead of sword point? Hmm. I'm gonna take out one light up the stage. I haven't brought in theater yet. I'm not sure if I really need it. No, I have zero theaters in the main deck. Alright, let's grow the Lava Runner. Alright, we need black mana. Not a black card, black mana. This is an unfortunate turn that we're just kind of wasting here. Light at the stage would be a lot better than the sword point diplomacy if, if this was like the one sword point that could have been a light at the stage. So for each spell, they need to pay three life. All right, so they're not paying three life for risk factor. I, I figured that would be the one they would pay three life for. Looks like they're paying three life for the shock and the land. Ooh, that's bold. Certainly seems like a counter spell here. I'm going to be playing Risk Factor on their turn. It's whether or not I want to play Sovereign's Bite on my turn. Um, I guess they could. Oh, they could Chemister's Insight if I don't do anything. All right, I'll, I'll go and do this. Could be Frilled Mystic. Frilled Mystic could certainly happen. Yeah. All right, so we'll, at least risk factor will be able to resolve. Well, presumably, could be spell pierce. Whoo! Taking it. Down to two. Uh, weather's horrible. It's warming up a little bit now, but the last, like, week it's been so cold. So I try Carnage here. And they're the same with like a negate, right? It only feels like a negate. Just 
Just gonna risk factor, discard the pestilence spirit. Carnage, why can't you be an instant? Alright, so they have to make me draw, so we just need to draw a shock or a lightning strike. Shock or lightning strike. Ugh. Not shock or lightning strike. Or another carnival. Another carnival would have done it also. Could have dealt. Yeah, dealt two to them with the carnivals. Alright, not another Nexus of Fate. That's good. Alright. This this should do it. I didn't even have to attack. Alright, so it looks like they did not have the counter spell if I would have carnaged before. Um, whenever I waited on Carnage. Good news, we didn't show them Carnage. Um, I think I'm off the Pestilence Spirit idea, though. Let's go back to Viashina Pyromancers. Let's get back to a light up the stage. They do have fog effects, which make my creatures a little worse. Um, well, this looks pretty good. Do I really want... Yeah, maybe I do want... Actually, maybe I do want Pestilence Spirit on the draw, honestly. Actually, I, I think I'm back to it. Maybe we'll play three of them. Actually, I, I do actually like it. I'm, I'm going to put him back in. I think we'll be kind of fine if we just kill these Krace, Krace I. Yeah, I'm going back to him. Opponent has the upkeep stop on. Are they trying to make me F6 through the turn? Give my opponent the opportunity to use their mana there. I just I don't want this to get countered. Maybe I just go Carnage, get that countered. Ugh. I don't want any Yeah, yeah, the risk factor is like something that I, I would like to get countered. I think Pestle and Spirits, I guess, more important than Carnage. Okay, no counter. I get to draw two, but then go go ahead and discard two of those again. Thank you.
Didn't we see the play Sinister Sabotage last last uh, game also, though? Doesn't seem like they have a counter spell, so I'm gonna go ahead and play the Pestilent Spirit. Discarding Krasis. I guess they know that we can kill Krasis pretty easily now. Alright, they still got five cards. What you got? They they got their setup with Wilderness Reclamation also. Yeah, no double green for a frilled mystic. Gonna discard this swamp uh, during their turn, or like whenever they tap out to risk factor. I'm gonna try to only play stuff whenever they tap out now. Dude, I l gotta love shocking four fours and killing them. Just, just one mana removal spells. Just path to exile. Get out of here. No basic. Because I, I use Shock over Carnival because I want to use the Carnage part of it, likely. Um, I don't know. I want to keep my option open with Carnival Carnage. Alright, so they're going to have Nexus of Fate here. Or maybe just Crack Memorial Genius. It's likely Nexus of Fate, but they could just Crack Memorial Genius. Opponent has six cards in the graveyard right now, so that's their seventh. Risk Factor has Death Touch. If my opponent takes the four, they're going to die. That's what Death Touch does, right? Okay, they did not take it. So, so let's see. Okay. They're frilled mysticking that. Shock. Ooh, Skewer will do it. As long as they don't have... As long as they don't have Spell Pierce. Um, just going to Skewer upstairs. There we go. So Carnage helped out. All right, 4-0. We are doing it. Rakdos Burn being sweet. Pestilent Spirit has been awesome. Carnage, Carnival Carnage has been awesome. I 
That's true. If I would have just played Carnival, I would have played around Spell Pierce. I guess not not Dive Down. It would not have played around Dive Down, but it would have played around Spell Pierce. <laughs> Thanks, that camper. <laughs> well, certainly for Pestilent Spirit to be the best, you want uh, spells that deal damage. Um, with it. Keep. All right, we got chicken nugs for the final boss. Oh, it's final boss time, isn't it? Final boss time. Yep, dude, I got it on Spotify, so I have it. I can switch over to it. But then I just go back and, like, kind of restart the, the stream playlist of playing random songs. Um... Hmm. So we may actually just, you know, so you may get, may have to listen to the same song that we just heard just a little bit ago. Again. So they're at 17 right now. If I shock Druid and deal 3 to them, that puts them to 14. Uh, attack for 4, put them down to 10. Um, I could also, you know, I deal 1 less damage if I don't cast Wizard's Lightning right now. I certainly want to kill this. So they'll, they'll be up potentially 11, but I'll have the Lightning for a creature. I think I'll just save Lightning for a creature. Oh, now they have Hexproof. Now I can't Wizards Lightning them. I need to cast that in response. But it's actually probably better just to kill this Spellbreaker. Maybe I'm killing, caring about that Spellbreaker too much. If I just went upstairs, they'd be at 7, but they'd have a 4-4. Four, four. Nah, I like where we're at. Whew! Oh yeah, that's good. Ah, uh, no, that's not good. Kill Land of War Elf, hit him for four, put him down to six. Or I attack with both, they block, they're at eight. I'm attacking with both, and I'll bite them. I think at this point I'd trade a creature for two damage. Or trade a creature for three damage, I guess. It's less likely we get there with the creatures. Now I just need a shock, or anything like that. Trading creature for one damage, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that a, sh a shock will now kill him. That's a good draw. Whoa. I just took the four. Hmm. Not expected. Ugh. 
<laughs> I don't think our opponent has Krasis. They don't. They're Jun deck. Yeah, 12 hour stream today, like a Zoe. We are three and a half hours in. Almost through two decks. Oh, okay, you're kidding. Got, I gotcha. My bad. Misread. All right, final boss is down a game. We are up a game. Fun's playing a lot of creatures. Do we just do the exact same thing? We've I I'm just gonna do the exact same thing I've always done. Just seems like this is best sideboard plan ever. Just the exact same sideboard plan against every single deck. It's just always worked. Might as well keep it going. Fire Cannon 8 does work with Pestilent Spear, yes. It would kill the Pestilent Spear, of course. But it would be... It, it'd just be... It's just Wrath of God. Um, to non-pirates. But yeah, it'd kill the, the Pestilent Spear, too. Maybe I need to have, like, deal one damage to all the opponent's creatures kind of card in the sideboard instead of fiery cannonade and you get some dual shots up in here dual shot would be sweet uh, have all of our top end carnage or carnival dang it Carnival is really good against the Land Werewolf deck, too. Of, like, trading with Land Werewolf, pinging him for one. Yeah, Cosmotronic Wave costs four. That's a little much. Alright, I think the opponent's got this game. Yeah, I don't believe Blazing Volley is in the format. Yeah, this was certainly a greedy hand. I was hoping they were going to be slower also, but they were not... Four fours immediately. That is not slower. Game's not over if we draw Pestilent Spirit. If we draw Pestilent Spirit, we can do some things. You know, like Spirit, Shock a Spellbreaker. We need the Spirit, like, this turn, though. They're playing big creatures. Maybe I want this fiery cannonade. To go with spirit. Hmm. Nah. No, I should just mulligan my ha my hand. I like where we're at though. Yeah, final boss is hard. That's true. Hmm. At least we're first this time. And I'm gonna. I'll certainly strike a land war off on turn one. Yeah, we're striking that. It's the benefit of going first. It's 
So I could go bite stage. Yeah. Hmm. It's a couple awkward cards. It's kind of an awkward light up the stage. Alright, so... If I Carnage... If I Carnage, then I don't get to stage. So I guess I just Carnival. Maybe I do just Carnage. Just three and discard two. Honestly, Carnage may be better here. Yeah, we don't have to play both. Now, I, I'm not playing Risk Factor because I'm certainly wanting to play you know, like these things. Um, they could discard Nullhide Ferox. That's a really good point. Oh, uh, Nullhide Ferox would be a huge problem. All right, let's let's do it. Let's do this then. All right, well, we found Pestilent Spirit to go with Shock. All right. Um, well, they still may have Null Hide, but maybe that's like their only land to play. Job spirit. Good job. Ugh, stop having those. I think I want to wait to actually have a burn spell to play Spirit plus burn spell, then just play it the next turn. No, actually, I'm going to play it this next turn. Yeah, we're 4 0 right now, but this game is. This game's really close. So I'm playing it right now because even if they Lava Coil or have removal for Pestilent Spirit, Chubacabra, it does like take up their turn. I was hoping I'd draw a land there, not Sovereign's Bite. You know, I wanted to just draw a land to discard. They're just going to four? What's their plan? I guess they're going to have me draw next turn. Remember, they, ha they have Hexproof during their turn. So that's why I'm casting the Risk Factors during my turn, because they have Hexproof during their turn. That Chupacabra... Was really good. Because it, it sped up their clock a turn and killed my Pestilent Spirit. We're going to get real fortunate here. Whew. Talking about getting real fortunate. There we go. Carnival Carnage. Doing its thing. One singular damage. One damage at one. Oh, Carnival Carnage is so good. So good. 
Five oh. Man, that card was just great for us that whole time. So was Pestilence Spirit. We got to kill that other spellbreaker. <laughs> Get styled on final boss. Five oh. One mana win the game is really good. Alright, so we got a we got a mythic. One of our rares was upgraded to a mythic, so 40 gems, and hey, it's a rare that I don't have four of. What is it? Mistress Self Replicator. Cool. Alright, yeah, the uh, the Rakdos burn deck felt really cool. Uh, I certainly liked it a lot. Um, you know, maybe we don't need the Theater Fours. I kind of have it for against, like, Teferi Control, I suppose. We didn't, didn't play against Teferi Control at all. Um... But, uh, yeah, maybe you want to even go farther on Pestilent Spirit. Like, we're talking about with, like, there's, like, Cosmetronic Wave to deal one damage to all their things. Maybe you want that instead of Fiery Cannonade. I don't know. So, but yeah, Rakdos Burn. How did this build come together? Um, I made it earlier today. That's all that happened there. Oh, uh, we're back to 69 subscribers. All right. There we go. If you're watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm putting the link to the YouTube here in uh, Twitch also, if you want to be able to see the replays later of any of these decks that you miss. And, of course, uh, I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching.